here for the lovely 5d collective we still have the amazing energies of curiosity and group thinking since you are all moving into your emotional maturity that would be putting into practice the integrated brain your restorative embodied self so you love being a human 101 and you love to deal with people always we walk with the people not away from them and that's with or without yoga so the in-between i'm a holistic practitioner i'm a content creator online entrepreneur all these beautiful words the holistic practitioner let's focus in on that for a minute because the tarot is a beautiful tool to support people on their personal development and ascension journey which we're all ways on as is the Akashic Record readings, when you pick up on what energy you're integrating. And you don't need to do this, by the way, for past lives necessarily. In fact, with Reiki, for example, there's distance healing. And we sometimes clear away energy from past events so that they can be processed. Furthermore, when it comes to mindfulness teaching and the holistic life coach approach, all of this is to integrate inner well-being, which my lovely trauma-informed courses have given me already everything that I need. But adding to the toolkit box is always effective for those who are serious about moving into their emotional adulthood. And in fact, here's where people who have unresolved trauma to the extent of where there's compulsive activity, addictions, drugs, sex, alcohol, food, uh, using time, playing video games, procrastinating. Some things are so small, and because the lovely movies make it seem the norm, since we didn't have the somatics and trauma-informed in-depth information that we do now. And I was, in fact, watching a video on a therapist who was working with a young boy who was very violent in school. And in fact, this is where the mother was getting beaten. The mother would then beat the child. They didn't talk about it this way. In fact, it was quite painful, if you will, to watch because their mannerisms, it, it definitely, there's a difference between the 3D energy and the 5D energy. And I sometimes find it humorous because I did notice as we moved into this fifth dimension earth energy this is for my mystics so we bring together five to collective is mystics and functional adults i am woo woo though i'm pseudoscience lady it's okay not planning to be science lady i got plenty of the researchers the good 5d educators to turn to and to share information with you so this video was very helpful to see though that they were already using aspects to regulate to help the poor boy learn to be in a safe nervous system because, see, that's the part in a household with a dysregulated, dysfunctional nervous system. Two parents, one husband beating the wife whenever he'd get angry, and then the wife beating the kid and thinking that that's normal. And this is probably not even that long ago. And we still have actually situations like these, don't we? So, in 5D Collective, any person who is here is either moving into becoming their love button, which means a functional adult, a somatic, empathic, compassionate, beyond a reason person, because every human begins at the age of zero. Every human begins with their right brain. The right mode is online only at the beginning of our life, and it begins to develop, and it's the emotional center. It's your nonverbal center. We all use it, but some don't use it. It only gets reactive with those charge states, yada, 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 things we talk about on the episode. So long story short, though, love it's a tangle it's always easy for those of us who know how to be with our emotions the basic six are always there because we're nature people just think we're not because they have secondary consciousness and they built a lot of stories and the inner child thank you patrick tiahan what does the inner child like they don't like but they are drawn to games because this is a part of where ruminating is in a biochemistry of fear. It's in a survival mode. It's in a nervous system that is actually protecting a person from the outside world. And here's where 4D, 3D is. So even though the Earth's energy has changed, people's modalities has not, and they don't get trauma-informed, and they don't have mindful relationships. And here's where the 5D collective is different. And this is my Zen masters who create mindful relationships with our oversoul. There are no energy vampires, dark auras. There's no devil a story at this point if you're here you understand these words these are not to talk about institutions that exist and it's kind of like a, a group they have a set of rules that they follow that they consistently believe in good for them 
Some of us believe in a scientific methodology, which is why woo-woo lady, all you want, but I know the earth is round and that I won't be going to throw myself out a balcony because gravity is going to, you know, get me to fall and then poof, I'm dead. So we have retrograde season, by the way, and we have, in fact, specials for that. And uh, realignment, reassessment, replenishment. Right now, Jupiter has moved into retrograde and it'll be so until December 31st. And Jupiter actually is all about expansion, abundance, and your values. So this is where you'll be looking to ground whatever you want to create. And we've been talking about that one, especially with those who will support you. Because you can't create from a place of fear. And rumination is a place of fear. But people who don't understand that codependent type relationships and or you in a conversation with somebody who doesn't believe the same things you do and yelling is a person in a charge state. A Zen master, the Zen tradition story that we heard and that I share with you from Sadhguru is one that equates what I've learned from lovely Daniel Siegel, Bezel van der Kolk, all of the trauma experts, which is a person, our optimized health is integration of the brain. It's easy to do, but it's the moment that you and I interact where even though you're being nasty to me, I learn how to use my mammalian heritage because I choose to. I choose to treat you with respect and to look at you with compassion. The choice is not the left verbal. No, no, it's both together where I will decide from within me to learn how to use my own ego self, which won't go anywhere, in a stance that is called a ventral vagal no. It's very easy, by the way, because that's what honor when you're holding values in your heart body because you stay aligned with them as well as your physical, energetic, and mental. You know how many people do yoga and Ayurveda and all the holistic practices and they love talking about alignment. You know how many have seen, respect their neighbor who's nasty because they have some unresolved trauma which they're not aware of. So no, they, they are not playing nice but they don't know they're wrestling. And they're not dangerous for the Zen master. We feel sad for them. And luckily, we have 5D educators, the trauma-informed experts who talk about compassion-based therapy, like our lovely Russell Colts, who talks about how to handle one's own anger. And on that note, let us look at lovely psych educators, Peter Levine. When healthy aggression is thwarted, then we have anger. When anger is thwarted, so not permitted, then we get hostility. We also have lovely... Ron Siegel, holding on to anger does have its costs. It is like setting ourselves on fire. Then we have this one, this one I love. Ron Siegel again, Psych D. If we have the power to bring out the worst in another person, perhaps we have the power to bring out the best in the other person as well, which of course we do. But you can only bring out the best of each other if you are able to have direct communication which only emotional grown-ups can do because it's when you're not afraid to be yourself that you can do this when we blame others we are angry the reason we're angry is because we've been hurt and anger is a natural effort not to be hurt again chris germer phd unfortunately the emotion of anger brings with it certainty and that's where people ruminate and they get lost in their stories those of us who instead go to sadness and just contemplate the love button people we are able to address what's going on our likes dislikes we do dharma and that's it we're done we're expanding this is expanding consciousness so sad guru for us if you want to take charge of your destiny the first step is to take charge of your own body and mind and sad guru again whether you can perform like someone else or not it is not the point the question is, are you exploring the full depth of your potential? The only way a person can start to achieve their full potential is when they learn to self-regulate into their own nervous systems, ventral vagal state. Yoga is a portfolio of exercises for that. Mindfulness helps you to use your cortex. And then mind sight, thank you, Daniel Siegel, helps you to know about you can sift your own sensations, images, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Some people need that lovely, good therapist, others do it with a consultant, coach, depends. Some do it all alone. But we always will do it with a me, we. With differentiated relationships, safe haven, secure base. It's only through your relationships when you're triggered and you're saying sorry and you're talking and you're giving each other a chance that you can create the future, which is what we want to do, my lovely 5D collective. So let's come together. Let's talk about important topics, respect each other, love each other, and tune in to the episodes for more on love. Have a great day.